Hi everyone, it's Michael. About two weeks ago, I posted a video called My Attempts to Increase Humidity. And that video, which I will link below, was just that. It was my attempts, it was not my successes. That being said, this video is called Increasing Humidity, and I bet you can guess why. I really do think that I have found my system, and I am so excited about it. So um, a few nights ago, I was on Amazon making impulsive and financially irresponsible decisions, as one tends to do, and I stumbled across a couple items that I felt really fit the bill of what I was looking for. Um, for those who did watch the video, I wanted something sleek, I wanted something modern, and I wanted something quiet. So. Um, I ended up purchasing two items. The first was, and I, I'm sure I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of this, it's called the Nuovo Wear um, Home Humidity Monitor. And it's really cool and it's semi-futuristic. It kind of has a sheer panel or like a see-through panel, which is very sci-fi and I'm into it. Um, so that was one thing I bought. And the other thing I bought was this bad boy right here. This is the Home Ultrasonic Humidifier Cool and Warm Mist. So I spent the last 48 hours kind of experimenting with these rearranging and trying different things, um, and that's the footage that you're about to watch. So without further ado, let's just jump in, and then we can come back up top and talk about it. So before I get into my first impressions, I do want to give you a snapshot of the interface of this unit. So on the far left hand side, you have the power button. All of these buttons will emit a beep when you press them, like so. Additionally, this unit will emit a loud beep when it is out of water and then it will automatically shut off, which is a really nice function in my opinion because it prevents the unit from damaging itself. This button here will allow you to select your mode, high or low, and that is directly proportionate to how much humidity you're hoping to achieve in your room. This button here is the timer button, and that allows you to choose a one hour, four hour, or eight hour increment of time in which you want this to run and then automatically shut off. Here, you have the temperature option, so you can either opt for a cool mist or a warm mist, which I think is really cool, um, and it allows you to be a little bit more site-specific about which orchids you're trying to uh, cultivate the proper environment for. And this button on the far right is the sleep button. It is my favorite button because it does something really interesting. When you push it, the unit automatically switches to low, which allows you to run it for longer. It turns off all of the LED lights in the front, so if you're using this in a bedroom, it's not going to have that obnoxious light quality while you're trying to fall asleep. And the last piece of the puzzle is that if this unit runs out of water while you're asleep, it will not emit that noise, it'll just turn off. So it allows you to sleep in on weekends, which is kind of nice. Up here you have the directional airflow control, so if I want it going straight ahead, I can do that. If I want it going left or right, I can do that. But also if I want it going in multiple directions, there's a mini inner one that I can also manipulate. So you can have it going two different directions at once, which is kind of cool. And then the last piece is right here. You pop this off and there's a little cotton pad that you can saturate with essential oil and you can use it for aromatherapy. All right guys, so I just got my NuvaWare humidity monitor installed and set up and I'm just taking a quick read before I turn on my new humidifier and it's looking like we are at 36% humidity. So let's see how the new humidifier, oh, just went up to 37. Um, let's see how the new humidifier impacts that number. All right, my friends, the read taken from the plants that are on the shelf directly above the humidifier is giving me a read of 48% humidity. Here we are about three hours later. Um, as you can see, I moved the humidity monitor from directly above the humidifier, which was at that time showing a reading of 48% humidity. Um, and I moved it across the room because I wanted to have a really good awareness of um, how well this humidity is going to travel through the space. And wouldn't you know it, this is so impressive. Um, we're at 50% humidity now. And that's, I don't know, that's just kind of crazy to me because remember, our starting point was 36% humidity. That's a 14% increase. So for such a tiny little unit to pump out that much humidity into the air, I'm super impressed. Also, bear in mind, this has been on since 9.40 p.m. last night. It's been running continuously on the high setting. And I don't think you guys can actually see it, but the capacity is, this is the capacity um, and the little monitor. And I've only used that much water. So I feel like... I'm not even half of the way through the tank yet, which is wonderful and um, more sustainable for me than something I would have to fill all the time. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the humidity monitor and I'm gonna move it one more time. I am going to, I'll just do it now actually, I'm gonna place this guy all the way over here because I want to see if the humidity is gonna travel all the way over this way as well. So um, I'm gonna check back in over here in a few hours and we will see. About two and a half hours have passed now. I actually went out and ran some errands to be a productive member of society. But would you just look at this? 
We currently stand at 47% ambient humidity, which is an 11% increase, and also so impressive when you consider the tiny, tiny size of the humidifying unit itself and how much space it had to travel across to humidify this part of the apartment. I am so impressed, in fact, that I would made an executive decision to remove these orchids from the germination chamber they were in. So I will link it below, but I did a video called My Version of Spag and Bag in which I use a germination chamber to elevate humidity for orchids that are struggling. Now, if you saw my most recent video, which I will also link below, called In Loving Memory, I outlined the death of my big white phalaenopsis, which actually died from having excessive humidity in that germination chamber. So those things considered, I made the decision to just leave them in this setup as is. So between the 47% ambient humidity that exists here and the internal humidity that is being generated in the semi-hydroponic container, plus the bottom heat, I feel certain that these orchids are going to make a beautiful recovery, but only time will tell if that is true. Uh, but let's keep things focused on the actual topic of discussion, which is the humidifier itself. And I just have to say, I am so impressed and so pleased. I didn't expect it to be quite this effective um, or quiet or um, wonderful. It just really, really is exceeding all of my expectations. So with that being said, back to you, Michael. So there you have it, guys. I realize how ridiculous this is about to sound, but I truly did not expect my ambient humidity conundrum to be solved with the humidifier. I just didn't. I thought it was going to be something really futuristic, or I thought I'd be able to, you know, pioneer something really creative and interesting inside of the semi-hydroponic containers. Um, but it ended up being just a good old-fashioned humidifier. And it, even so, it is a very modern, futuristic-looking humidifier. It is ultrasonic, which I really appreciate. Um, but it has a lot of key features that I enjoy. Um, I love that I don't have to fill it every eight hours. I love that it is able to expand its humidity throughout the entire space. Um, I like that it's low maintenance and that it's not going to interrupt my sleeping. Um, there's a lot of really positive takeaways from this being my system. And I'm excited, but I'm mostly excited because I'm so optimistic. Um, a lot of the orchid growers that I know and respect have said to me, um, the big distinction between when their orchids were doing well and when they were doing incredible is them being able to solve that ambient humidity mystery. Um, I guess for me it was such a struggle because the people that I've been talking to are greenhouse growers, and I'm a home grower with a very limited amount of space. So um, finding a solution seemed so distant and um, unlikely, but here it is. Um, I will link the products uh, that I talked about below, and just for your reference, I'm not I'm not a paid spokesperson. I'm not endorsed to do this or anything. I just um, I know how much and how intensely I've been looking for a solution for myself, um, and now that I feel like I found one, I want to share it with you guys. So um, if you have any questions, any comments, uh, please leave them below for me. I would love to answer them for you. Um, but always keep the dialogue going. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and thank you again for spending your time with me, guys. Have a great day. Bye.